Conservatives were once called enemies of free speech. Some tried to ban rap lyrics, video games, Playboy magazine. But today, it's leftists who censor. A confession that got him fired from NPR. Longtime investigative journalist Cheryl Atkinson is out. I was silenced. When Melissa Francis on CNBC suggested that Obamacare's math didn't add up. I was called into management where I was told that I was, quote, disrespecting the office of the president. This leftist writes, now it's my side that wants certain opinions silenced. They don't want to hear ideas that they disagree with, and they don't want other people to hear ideas that they disagree with. When it comes to things like global warming, climate denial is a lie, gay marriage, affirmative action, the left often says the debate is settled. That's it. There's nothing else to talk about. Liberals have typically uh, believed in, in free speech, debate, and dissent. This used to be a really central part of liberalism, and, and it was based on the idea that let the best idea win. But now it's, I'm offended. Get off this campus. We don't want you here. If you don't shut up, we're going to call you a bigot. We're going to call you a homophobe. We're going to call you something that's going to make everybody else not want to have anything to do with you. It makes you a slut, right? After Rush Limbaugh said that about birth control activist Sandra Fluck, the left tried to get his show canceled. Opinions shouldn't be illegal. It was good that he was defended by this leftist. I am not a big fan of Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> <laughs> However, if you're one of the people with a website devoted to making him go away, you are part of the problem. National Public Radio executives got upset when Juan Williams said this. When I get on a plane, I got to tell you, if I see people who are in Muslim garb, and I think, you know, they're identifying themselves first and foremost as Muslims. I get worried. I get nervous. Static on the airwaves. NPR quickly fired Williams. Any minority, but especially a black person, is not allowed to be anything but a liberal. The left will devour its own for just one ideological breach. Hi, everybody. Former CNN anchor Campbell Brown once gave money to Democrats. But then she dared criticize teacher tenure. Tenure laws have become, in most places, is permanent lifetime employment. The left then attacked her. But they barely attacked her argument. They smeared her character. You're a bimbo, you're a pretty face, you're a beauty queen. Trying to delegitimize her rather than debate her on the issue. They smear her personally. Oh, well, you know what? I'm sure you get comments on your website and I get emails and I... Dumb people say toughen dumb up. stuff. Just say. Dumb, toughen up, you know. The public dialogue is not a place for the bashful. Quit being a bunch of wimps. Left-leaning columnist Ellis Hennigan disagrees with Kirsten Powers. He says people on the left don't silence anyone. I think it is simply mistaken to suggest that that's all some conspiracy of the left. There are exaggerated and intolerant views across the political spectrum. I'm not saying that conservatives don't do it. It's just that I don't know anybody who's really living in fear of, oh gosh, I said something that offended a conservative, am I going to lose my job? Cheryl Atkinson breaking the news tonight. Cheryl Atkinson once did lots of reports on right CBS. When she started to investigate the Obama administration, suddenly she was the secret covert Republican, and basically this was the way to delegitimize her. When she started to criticize the Obama administration, bye. I'm supposed to feel sorry for Cheryl Atkinson. She had a marvelous career in broadcast journalism that went on for decades. Power's book is unusual because few people on the left think there is a silencing. Your friends in Washington, I assume, if you ask them about this, they don't see it. They don't see it because it's not covered by the mainstream media. LA Times, for example, saying they won't even publish letters to the editor that question climate change. That's not debate. The Los Angeles Times actually did announce it will not allow readers to express doubt that humans cause climate change. Come on, you're alarmed by global warming. Yeah. Aren't you secretly happy that they're no, shutting I, the other side up? No, I just, just I think that you should out debate them. Just make your argument. But this isn't what they want to do. They want to just basically just shut it down.